Problem 3. A waste acid stream of 400 kg per hour contains 6 weight percentage sulfuric acid, 10 weight percentage nitric acid and the balance water. It is blended with a stream A aqueous sulfuric acid solution of 70 weight percentage sulfuric acid. Stream B aqueous nitric acid solution of 60 weight percentage nitric acid. So the balance would be water to produce 1000 kg per hour of a mixed acid product containing 24 weight percentage sulfuric acid, 21 percentage of nitric acid and the remaining is water. Determine the required mass flow rates of stream A and B. Also verify the product water content. Let's decode the question. So a waste acid stream is there which is coming at the flow rate of 400 kg per hour and it has two acids inside. One is 6 weight percentage sulfuric acid and 10 percentage of nitric acid so the remaining is water so when we add together this comes to be 16 percentage so the remaining 84 percentage would be water so this stream is one of the stream then it is blended with stream a so there is a stream with which it is mixed aqueous so this is the key here it's an aqueous sulfuric acid solution of 70 weight percentage so 70 percentage sulfuric acid so remaining 30 percentage of this stream a would be water now stream B, it is an aqueous nitric acid solution of 60 weight percentage nitric acid. So the remaining would be water that is 40 percentage. Now we are asked to produce 1000 kg per hour of mixed acid product and they have given the required concentration here. Let's we'll start solving the problem. The first step is to draw the schematic. So there are three streams entering the mixer and there is only one product stream is coming out of the mixer. Let us fill the respective chemical composition of each stream. The stream 1 that is M1 will be the waste acid stream which has 10 weight percentage nitric acid and 6 weight percentage sulfuric acid remaining would be water. Stream 2 it says aqueous sulfuric acid solution so there will be some amount of sulfuric acid some amount of water. Stream B it has nitric acid solution that is aqueous nitric acid solution. So this also have nitric acid and water. You can see that there is no sulfuric acid mentioned here. There is no nitric acid mentioned here. They all mix together to form some amount of sulfuric acid, some amount of nitric acid and remaining water. And we name the stream as M4. So let's take the stream M1. As per the question, the stream M1 has 400 kg per hour. And sulfuric acid is 6 weight percentage. Nitric acid is 10 weight percentage. So it's add together to 16 percentage. So the remaining is 84 percentage because these all three together to form 100 percentage, right? So the assumption is that. So 84 percentage would be water. Now we'll move on to next stream that is M2 stream. Actually, it is a stream A. So the flow rate of stream A we have to identify, but the composition is given. So the sulfuric acid is 70 percentage. So the remaining must be water. So 30 percentage water. Moving on to stream M3, that is stream B. Again, the mass of stream B, that is M3, is not given, but the composition is given. So 60 weight percentage of nitric acid, and the remaining is water to make it up to 100. Now these all three mixed together to form some amount of M4, which has these compositions. So the required, the requirement is given. In the question it's that. We have to produce 1000 kg per hour of product. So by having some amount of M2 and M3 along with this M1, we have to get 1000 kg per hour of M4. That should have 24 percentage of sulfuric acid, 21.5 percentage of nitric acid. The remaining would be water. So 54.5 percentage. This is all summed together to get 100 percentage. So now we have obtained all the compositions of each stream. Now we'll move on to solve the overall mass balance, solute balance and then water balance equation. Since there are two solutes are here, sulfuric acid and nitric acid is there, we will have two solute balance equations. Let's solve that now. So the overall mass balance equation, there are three inlet streams. So the left hand side, three masses has to be added together. On the right hand side, there is only one stream is coming out that is M4. So M1 plus M2 plus M3 is equal to M4. Coming to solute balance, specifically for sulfuric acid, I am multiplying the mass of first stream with the respective solute balance of first stream. So the first stream M1 has 6 percentage of sulfuric acid. The mass of M1 is 400 kg per hour. 
plus M2 stream. So M2 stream should be multiplied by the respect to sulfuric acid percentage. So here 70 percent will be multiplied and the M3 percentage of sulfuric acid should be multiplied. So you know that there is no sulfuric acid in the M3 stream. So of course it will be a zero percentage into M3. Similarly, we will do for M4 also. Then I am doing for nitric acid balance equation. So we will multiply the respective stream mass with the nitric acid percentage of that stream. So let's substitute the values given in the question on these equations. In the overall mass balance equation, we know only M1 and M4. So I am replacing those values that gives me equations. Then coming back to sulfuric acid percentage. So S1 percentage is stream 1 percentage sulfuric acid 6 percentage. S2 percentage is 70 percentage in stream 2. So 0.70 into M2. Coming to stream M3, you know there is no sulfuric acid. So 0 percentage of sulfuric acid. So S3 would be 0 percentage into M3, which is equal to S4 sulfuric acid is 24 percentage. So 0.24 into M4 value we know. So it is 1000. So now in this equation, I am just summing up M2 plus M3 should be equal to this 400 go this side. So 1000 minus 400 give me 600 kg per hour. So this is the first equation. Now we will move on to second equation. So in this term, 0 0.06 into 400 gives me 24. 0 0.7 times M2 is as it is there. M3 will become 0 and this term will become 0 as we are multiplying 0 with M3. The remaining would be 240. So we have one variable and remaining constants are there. So on rearrange, we can find M2, which comes to be 308.6 kg per hour. Now this M2, I can substitute in this equation to find M3. So 600 minus M2 would be equal to 291.5 kg per hour. So we have found M2 and M3 value. So when we mixing this much kg of M2 and M3 stream with the 400 kg of stream 1, we would be able to produce 1000 kg per hour of mixed acid which has 24 percentage sulfuric acid, 21.5 percentage nitric acid and the remaining would be water. Moving on to the last problem on mixing. So let's read the question. The waste acid from nitrating process contains 23 percentage nitric acid and 57 percentage sulfuric acid. So what would be the meaning? So 57 plus 23 which comes to be 80 percentage so the remaining must be water. Now. Adding 90 percentage nitric acid solution and 93 percentage sulfuric acid concentrates this acid. So now it says 90 percentage nitric acid means the remaining 10 percentage must be water. And 93 percentage sulfuric acid means remaining 7 percentage must be water. Sometimes many students confuse us. This two are one acid stream. No, there is two different acid stream. 90 percentage nitric acid is one acid stream. 93 percentage sulfuric acid is another acid stream. The final acid has a concentration of 27 percentage nitric acid and 60 percentage sulfuric acid. Calculate the weights of the acids required to make 7380 kg of final acid. To solve this problem, let's draw the schematic. Again, in this problem also, there are three streams are entering in the mixer and one product stream is coming outside. The first stream is M1. The stream M1 is the waste acid from nitrating process. It contains 23% nitric acid and it has sulfuric acid and remaining water. That's why I have filled with all the three compositions here. Moving on to stream M2, which is sulfuric acid and water. Stream M3 would be 90% nitric acid solution. So there is nitric acid and water here. So there is no sulfuric acid here. You can note down here. In this case, there is no nitric acid here. You can note down that. Moving on, the stream 4, it contains sulfuric acid, nitric acid and water because we are mixing all three. Now let's refer the question and fill the given data for each stream. So moving on to stream 1, the question says the waste acid from a nitrating process contains 23% nitric acid, 57% sulfuric acid. So adding together it comes to 80%, so the remaining must be water, so 20% water. Now the stream M2, the question says 93% sulfuric acid. So when it has 93% sulfuric acid, the remaining 7% must be water. And the third stream is 90% nitric acid. So it has 90% nitric acid and the remaining 10% must be M3. Now there are some details on the M4 stream also. The question says, calculate the weight of acids required to make 7380 kg of final acid. 
So the final stream mass is 7380 kg and the final acid has a concentration of 27% nitric acid, 60% sulfuric acid. So we have replaced that. So the remaining would be 87 minus 100 that is 13 percentage of water. Now we filled all the given data in the schematic. Now we'll do the overall mass balance for this problem. So there are three inlet streams and one output stream. So M1 plus M2 plus M3 is equal to M4. Moving to sulfuric acid mass balance, we multiply every mass of the stream by its respective sulfuric acid percentage that is solute percentage. So for mass of the stream 1, we should multiply by the sulfuric acid percentage in the stream 1. Similarly, for each stream, we are multiplying by the respective solute percentage. Moving on to nitric acid mass balance, again we are multiplying each stream M1, M2, M3 and M4 by its respective nitric acid percentage stream. Let's fill the value for overall mass balance first of all. So from the question, out of four streams, only one stream mass is given in the question. So M4, it is 7380. M1, M2, M3 we don't know so I am keeping as it is. Coming to sulfuric acid mass balance equation. So we have to multiply by the sulfuric acid percentage in the stream 1. So sulfuric acid percentage in stream 1 is 57 percentage. So in fraction it is 0.57 into M1 plus. In M2 it is 93 percentage so 0.93 into M2. In M3 you can see we are multiplying with 0 because in M3 there is no sulfuric acid is there. And in the product M4. S4 that is sulfuric acid percentage is 60 percentage. So in fraction it is 0.6 into M4 is 7380 kg. Coming to nitric acid balance equation, we will replace 91 percentage by the nitric acid percentage in the M1 stream. It is 23 percentage nitric acid in the M1 stream. So 0.23 in fraction into M1. Plus in M2 stream, we can see that there is no nitric acid. So 0 percentage into M2. Plus in M3 stream, we have 90 percentage. So in fraction, it is 0.9 times M3, which is equal to in M4, we have 27 percentage of nitric acid. So we are multiplying M4, that is 7380 with 0.27, which is the fraction of nitric acid present in the M4 stream. So the final equation comes to be 0.57 times M1 plus 0.93 times M2, which is equal to 4428. Similarly, for nitric acid mass balance, we are getting 0.23 times M1 plus 0.9 times M3 which is equal to 1992.6. So we have three equations, overall mass balance equation, sulfuric acid balance equation and nitric acid balance equation. We can solve this equation using calculator equation mode and we can find the value of each stream M1, M2 and M3. On solving, I got M1 as 3076.7, M2 as 2875.6 and M3 as 1427.7 kgs. Please mention that is a kg as a unit for each terms. I hope you understood the problem solving involved in mixer mass balance. So we meet in next lecture. Thank you.